With a case recently in the news about fraud and a big investment loss, this morning we thought it would be good to bring in an expert in handling matters of this magnitude to tell us what the protocols are, what should have been in place for this, what will be in place, and how consumers can protect their investments and assets. So joining us this morning is Mr. David Geddes, the Director of Stakeholder Engagement, Communication and International Relations at the Financial Services Commission. Good morning, David. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Good morning, Simone and Daly, and good morning to your many viewers. Pleasure to be here. I, I want to start, first of all, with the role of the FSC, because I know since this has happened, a lot of people have been saying, where was the FSC? Uh, what did the FSC do? What is the role of the FSC in scenarios such as this, when investments become, I would say, okay. borrowed? <laughs> well, let's start at the beginning. The fact is that the Financial Services Commission is a regulatory agency and throughout the world, best practices for regulatory agencies really is to set the parameters within which entities will operate and then allow the entities to compete and by doing that they offer um, usually better customer service, better products, there's innovation, etc. The role of the regulator is not is not to be another level of management for the company to you know be there um, involved in the daily operations of the company, um, advising where to go or or that. That's not the normal role of the regulator. I mean, it can be when there is a problem and the uh, regulator has to step in. But under normal circumstances, you set the you have you advise them what are the regulations. You set guidelines and you allow them to operate. So in a situation such as the one that's going on now, the FSC, although not typically knee deep or in the weeds, right, would now step in and say, whoa, 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 um, what is happening here? What happens from here on in? Okay, that's an excellent question. Uh, let me say that what has happened so far is that the FSC has intervened and by that intervention has placed the company under what is referred to as enhanced supervision. So therefore, one of the elements of that enhanced supervision is that the transactions that the company undertakes, both to, for the intake of client funds and the payout of client funds, that the FSC will be approving those transactions. Ah. That is not the norm. Let me emphasize that is not the norm. What would normally happen is that, you know, you would get reports, annual reports, quarterly reports, etc., and they would tell you what they have done, and we would look to make sure that they are operating in a prudent manner. This is an, more or less an extraordinary step. And so, therefore, we have intervened. Additionally, we have appointed a special auditor. We have just uh, made that announcement um, that a special auditor has been appointed and that is to help with our enhanced supervision and our continuing investigation as to what is happening at Stocks and Securities Limited.